Okay, so we are continuing with the B part of the question. So the B part of the question, we are saying that GTP Company Limited is one of the major manufacturers of local textiles in Ghana. Suppose government of Ghana totally bans the importation of foreign textiles. Also, suppose that GTP Limited discovers the state of art technology that eases the production of local textiles. With the aid of appropriate diagrams, explain the effects of these events. Explain the effects of these events. So meaning that it's not one or two, it's more than two. Because we are having what? Events. It's not just one, it's more than one. With the previous one was just what? An event. The previous question. But this one is what? Events. We are going to have what? More than one. So, with the aid of appropriate diagrams, explain the effect of these events on the equilibrium price and quantity of GTP textiles. So, let's go over again. GTP Company Limited is one of the major manufacturers of local textiles in Ghana. Suppose government of Ghana totally bans the importation of foreign textiles. Also, suppose that GTP Limited discovers the state of art technology that eases the production of local textiles. With the aid of appropriate diagrams, explain the effect of these events on the equilibrium price and quantity of GTP textiles. So, first scenario, you are having events. So, with the event, you are supposed to get three diagrams. Just an event. We get one diagram. So per this question, we are using the first one. So the first one, we have an increase in demand should be greater than an increase in supply. That was the first one. Then the second one, an increase in demand should be lesser than that of an increase in supply. Then the last one, an increase in demand. An increase, sorry, an increase in demand should be equal to an increase in supply. So these are the three concepts you are going to use for this particular question. So an increase in demand should be greater than an increase in supply. An increase in demand should be lesser than an increase in supply, which means supply should be greater than demand. Then on this side, demand should be equal to what supply. So the first one, you have this. This. This demand. This supply. You have this. This is the equilibrium point, E0. Equilibrium price, so let me do it, Q0. Equilibrium price, P0. So we are saying that an increase in demand should be greater than what? An increase in supply. Meaning that the gap we are going to get in between the demand should be bigger or greater than that of the supply. So an increase in supply is upwards. A decrease in supply is downwards. So we have this. Let me do it like this. So this is D1. So this is an increase in demand. Should be bigger than that of what an increase in supply. What supply? This is decrease in supply. This side is increase in supply. So it's an increase in supply, but the gap we are going to get between the supply should be smaller than that of the demand. Or the gap in between the demand should outweigh the gap in between the supply. So meaning that the gap for the supply should be smaller than that of the demand. So let's do it this way. So this is S1, this is increase, increase. The next thing we'll do is, we find a point where the new curves are meeting. This is S, this is D1. So we can't pick the point from this side. This is S1, this is D1. The new supply function, the new demand function are meeting here. So we can pick it from this side. So we have this. So this is Q1.
So that is what we get for the first one. So we move to the second one. This is quantity. This is price. This is demand. This is supply. This is equilibrium point. This is equilibrium quantity. This is initial equilibrium price. Now, what else we are seeing that this side, the gap between the demand was greater than that of the supply. But with the second one, the supply rather should be bigger than that of the demand. So, meaning that with the demand, it should be smaller. So, we have something like this. This is D1, this is increase. This one says increase. So with the supply, it should be bigger than that of the demand. So we open it. So this is S1. This is S1. We find for where the, the new caps are meeting. This is S1. This is also D1. So they are meeting here. So we do it. New equilibrium point, one. So like this. This is Q1. It's increasing. This one. This is P1. Price is decreasing. So the last one, let me move it to this side. So an increase in demand should be equal to an increase in supply. So we have this. So this is quantity. This is price. This is demand. This is demand. This is supply. Where they are meeting is the equilibrium point. So we move it to this side. This side is initial equilibrium quantity Q0. This side is initial equilibrium price P0. But with the third part, we are seeing that the gap in between the demand should be the same as the gap in between what the supply. So I meaning we have an equal impact on this concept. So demand, there is it. Increase. This is D1. D1. Supply increase. So supply increase. So where the army is, this is the one, this is S1. So the army is in here. So this is E1. So you move it. So from Q0, it increases to Q1. What well, is in the same mode, equilibrium point, because we are saying that their gap should be the same thing. So they are going to maintain the same price, but they are increasing what? Their output, which is what? The quantity. So that is how we solve the B part of the question. Let me explain something here. So, per what we have here, you just give a brief interpretation to them. So, for instance, with the first one, an increase, sorry, an increase in demand, which was D, 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 2, D1, D1, outweigh, outweighs means the gap in between this is bigger than the other one, outweighs that of that of an increase in supply which is s s2 s1 s1 and with this side an increase in supply which is s s2 s1 s1 outweighs That of an increase 
in demand. We just D D two D one D one. I mean the last part of the question. So an increase in an increase in demand. Watch us D D two D one D one has an equal impact with an increase in supply. Yes, S S two, S one, S one. So that's how we basically deal with the B part of the question. Because JTB Company Limited is one of the major manufacturers of local textiles in Ghana. Suppose so government of Ghana totally bans the importation of foreign textiles. Also, suppose that JTP Limited discovers the state. So even from this side, suppose government of Ghana bans the importation. Government is banning the importation, meaning government is going to ban the things we are getting from outside. So once there's a ban on that, meaning that we wouldn't be able to get much of those products, we are going to patronize ours. So I mean, there's going to be what, an increase in demand. That's why you could say it from this side. All the question. Okay. So from the down part, suppose that GTP Limited discovers the state of us technology. Whenever there's technology injury, there's an increase in production. So suppose that GTP Limited discovers the state of art technology that eases the production of local textiles. With the aid of appropriate diagrams, explain the effect of this event. Once you have event, you're supposed to have a trade diagram. If it's event just one like the previous one. On the equilibrium price and quantity of GTP was test out. So the first one, your demand needs to outweigh your supply. The second one, your supply needs to outweigh your demand. Then the last one, you're supposed to have an equal impact. So that's how we solve the B part of the comparative status question for the question five.